one of the major factors influencing future home design will be the probable change in climate with hotter summers, uh, colder winters and the possibility of floods. Consequently, houses will be built with better insulation. I know many learners read like this and because of the same problem, they are unable to get a good score in speaking module. Here, in this video, I'll tell you how you need to speak in order to score 19 speaking. Trust me, scoring 19 PT speaking is not at all an arduous task. You simply need to take care of a few tips in order to master this skill. In this video, I'll be explaining you the 5 things you should not do in order to get the score of 90. So if you're going to do these five things, I'm pretty sure the score will be 65 only. But what exactly do you need to do as well? That also will be explained in this video. So hello everyone, I'm Sonam Sandhu from PT Made Easy and trust me everyone, PT Asan hai. Just follow me. So first of all, we need to understand what speaking is all about. In speaking module of PT, we have various question types. We have read aloud, we have repeat sentence, we have retell lecture, we have described diagram, we have short question answers as well. Now we need to understand what the examiner is expecting from us. Actually, what learners do, I'm going to tell you first. Five common mistakes which learners are committing and that's something deteriorating their score in PT speaking. So the first one here is speaking too fast in order to impress the examiner or the computer. You should not speak at a very fast pace because at the end whatever you are speaking it should be comprehensible to the other person. The other person or the computer should be able to comprehend you clearly. That's what you need to do. Do not speak too fast. The second one is do not take unnecessary pauses. Now when we speak in English, the way I was, I did a mock just now and I told you the way some of the learners speak in English. So you should not take unnecessary pauses. You should take a pause where it is required only. So we should take a pause when there is a comma, when there is a semicolon, colon or maybe a full stop. Do not take pause in between any part or maybe just after any other word. So take care of this thing. Now, many learners feel hesitant when it comes to speaking in English and because of the same, they fumble. What happens when they speak in English, they fumble or they search for a particular word they want to speak. Whichever word comes to the, even the easy vocab comes to your mind, you should speak up. Instead of taking a gap or instead of fumbling, you do it. Students do not take care of the way speaker has spoken in the audio. So when we are talking about a particular task of PT speaking, there is an audio plate for you. You simply need to listen to the audio and you have to repeat the same. And when you are asked to repeat the same, it means you have to repeat the way the speaker spoke. Okay, you need to take care of word stress. You should take care of the intonation. You should take care of the pronunciation. So that's what you need to take care of. You are simply imitating the speaker. That's what speaking is all about. You should try speaking like the native speakers or you should try to speak in a manner that's totally comprehensible to the other one. Now, there's another thing you need to take care of. Because what happens when uh, the learners speak in English, they either speak too slow. I have clearly mentioned don't speak too fast. Now I am saying don't speak too slow as well. You simply need to maintain a moderate pace in order to excel in your PT exam. And now that is possible. I will explain you how you need to do it and then I will give you 4 tips which will help you in scoring 90 plus in PT speaking exam. So first of all I have a text here and I am simply reading that text out loud. This is the task read aloud. Okay, here you have the text and in 40 seconds you must read this text aloud and clearly and naturally as possible. Okay, so here what do we have? Here we have one of the tasks. 
one of the major factors influencing future home design will be the probable change in climate with hotter summers colder winters and the possibility of floods consequently houses will be built with better insulation and will also need ways of keeping cool in hot weather whether that's air conditioning or more shading of windows so this is the way the examiner expects you to speak you have to take a pause whenever there is a comma but if there is a comma take a short pause if there is a full stop take a longer pause and if there is a semicolon you need to take a pause which is longer than the comma one and shorter than the full stop one so kindly take care of the punctuation marks these punctuation marks help you in analyzing where exactly and how long the pause should be so this is one of the tips which i would give you for scoring 90 plus in pt speaking now talking about the second tip here and second tip is simply imitating the speaker when we are talking about read aloud nobody tells you how the speaker has spoken or nobody gives you audio here you simply need to read a text of four to five lines and show how you speak in english but there are tasks in which the examiner or the speaker speaks first and then you have to imitate so take care of this thing the way they are speaking simply imitate don't do any other thing simply focus on imitating now when we are talking about imitating we need to take care of the pace as well as i have previously mentioned you should not speak too fast you should not even speak too slow so maintain a moderate pace speak fluently and confidently if you hesitate you will not be able to speak properly you are going to take pauses and when you take a pause you are marked negative that time and that's what you do not want you don't want your scores to get deducted so take care of this thing now as i have also mentioned there are tasks in which there is an audio played before so you simply are imitating that audio you are not only imitating the way speaker spoke in the audio but you are also imitating the pronunciation for example we have a word here available so let's say the speaker has spoken it like available will also speak it like such available if it's development will speak it like such only development we need to say where exactly the speaker took theek hai stressed on a particular syllable okay that's what we need to take care of now apart from this we know that we need to take care of the pronunciation we know that we have to imitate there are certain words which the students get confused about and that happens a lot of times for example the word development many learners out there call it development which is wrong for example technology this is the way learners speak but it is technology i know when the speaker has spoken you will be able to copy it but at times when the text is longer you are not able to memorize what exactly happened so kindly take care of these tips in order to excel in pt speaking and you'll surely score 90 plus in this one bonus tip at the end now what exactly happens there is one of the tasks in which you have to listen to what they said there is a lecture played for you and then you have to summarize the lecture in somewhere around 25 to 30 seconds so while listening to the particular lecture make sure that you prepare notes with the help of the notes you can easily speak at length or you can easily speak for the time you are planning for and whenever you make notes prepare the notes in the manner of flow chart so that you start with the first part then you finish the next part then the third part this is the way you can easily excel in this particular task of pt speaking as well last but not the least i have tried to deliver the content in the best possible manner in this video but still if there is anything missing or still if you feel i should have mentioned something else in the video which i didn't 
do let me know in the comment section i'll surely try to add the same in the coming videos of mine thank you so much for watching me today and i'll see you in the next video